My name is the Reverend Sean Amos. I'm a blues singer from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I tell people I sing joyful blues. I got the name the Reverend from uh, some Italians, actually. Uh, I was playing some gigs in uh, 2013, which is when this whole journey began for me. And uh, by the end of those shows, uh, the crowd in Italy said, you are like a reverend. You, you are like a reverend. And so I figured if Italians are going to give me the name Reverend, I must, uh, I must adopt it. <laughs> and so the name stuck. I brought it back to America with me. Uh, and I became a Reverend. Uh, only in America can you become a Reverend by uh, going online and paying $20. And so I, I'm a card-carrying Reverend. I've officiated two weddings, uh, no funerals yet, thankfully. Uh, and that is, uh, that's, that's, that's how it all began. <laughs> Good evening, Amsterdam. You know, this, this music is one of the greatest gifts uh, that America has brought to the world. And at least in my country, uh, not everyone pays it close attention. Uh, and a lot of people think that this music is in the past tense and, and not the present tense. And so my mission is to keep the blues alive one gig at a time. Why you be creeping around eating off of his plate? You gonna miss me? You gonna miss me when I get home? Yeah, you know it's funny. Pe people say that you know the blues is born out of you know hard times, uh, and that that's the common story that's told about the blues. You know, it's born out, and, and that's that's true. And the blues is great music of resilience for sure. But the music, the blues is also music of incredible joy and, and celebration. Um, and so for me, I think that what, what works about the blues is that it, it's, it's, it's evidence that we are all stronger than we give ourselves credit for being. Uh, that we all have the ability to uh, rise above whatever troubles uh, may be coming our way. And so for me, it's as, it's as important to have a song like Days of Depression, which is a song I, I wrote and, and opens our, our current album, uh, which is definitely sort of a song born out of chain gangs and, 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 and a very uh, stark acknowledgement of, of suffering. But then there's also a song like You're Gonna Miss Me When I Get Home, which is just a sort of a, a lustful, you know, sort of a, you know, done me wrong song. So, I mean, if you look at like, even like Muddy, or like Muddy Waters, I mean, you've got my mojo working, is not at all, you know, a song born out of depression. It's a song about wanting to get laid. <laughs> so, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, blues does, I don't think blues gets enough credit for uh, addressing the full range of emotions that exist in the human experience. Uh, even though, yes, it was born out of, you know, um, it, it was a response to men and women wanting to get control, you know, over, over their situation, over their circumstance. Man, he's so simple-minded. He can't draw the module. He bots on the neon, and he sleeps in a capsule, and he loves to be loved. And he loves to be loved. Well, I love to I think for me, when I perform, I'm always attempting to... Um, you know, place myself in the center of the story that I'm singing. Uh, and sometimes those stories are born out of personal experiences. You know, I've, I've written about this in the past, and it's you know, public knowledge that, you know, I had a mother who was, uh, you know, uh, very ill, you know, mentally ill uh, when I grew up and, and committed suicide. And, um, uh, and, and I've, and sometimes those um, feelings are, are coming 
Ford in the middle of the song. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes I'm like, I'm, it's a character I'm playing, you know, and sometimes it, it, it's like playing dress up a little bit, you know. Um, and other times I'm tapping into, you know, a joy and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a happiness that I can't touch any other way. You know, I mean, I tell people, you know, the reason I sing and the reason I perform is because it's the only way I know <laughs> to, to get to hold all those parts of myself, you know, to, to hold my sadness and hold my joy and, and hold and, and to celebrate, you know, all sort of in real time. So I'm, I'm bouncing around a million different emotions on stage, uh, you know, and some, are, and some are based on my own experiences and some are based upon remembrances of other people's experiences. Um, but I, it, it's, uh, you know, it's never the same twice. <laughs> You know, this is our first time playing in Amsterdam uh, and playing this lovely club. It's funny, you know, North Sea Jazz Club is similar to a club in California where I live called Vibrato, which is a jazz club that's owned by Herb Alpert, who is a famous musician and was the founder of a record label called A&M Records. And, uh, and we play there pretty often. It's a similar vibe with sort of a supper club and a little more refined uh, than your typical, you know, blues club. So I, whenever we play a place like this, you know, my mission is to turn it a little bit into, you know, a, a rowdier vibe, you know, and so hopefully I can uh, maybe get a little dirty around the edges, <laughs> uh, and, you know, not, not, not too crazy, but uh, we'll, we'll make it a little, uh, we'll make it a little, uh, a little greasy tonight. <laughs> 